Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know I have been MIA for a couple of weeks and I have a really good explanation. So I just wanna let you guys know that on January 30th, I actually bought a dog. I bought a French bulldog named Fabio. And while I always knew that I wanted a dog, I actually never thought I was going to go and take that next step on getting a puppy, but I did. And the past couple of weeks have been really crazy and whirlwind, which I'm excited to share with you guys everything that has been going on with my puppy. And now that I'm able to come back and film along with work and everything. Um, so thank you guys for, you know, subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, commenting, and, you know, just um, still being involved with the channel, even though I was away. I really appreciate it. I am excited to show you guys my puppy Fabio later on in the video. I'm just going to kind of give you guys an update on uh, being a first time um, puppy parent, a Frenchie puppy parent, and I'm going to show you guys some things that I have bought that have made my life as a first time dog owner a lot easier. I actually didn't grow up having any type of dogs, so to go and have a dog right now after just moving into my apartment was kind of crazy, but I have no regrets. Um, I love my puppy, he's amazing, but it has been pretty crazy, so I'm excited to share the story with you guys and also share some of my favorite items um, and everything else. I'll make sure to link everything down below, and I'll also link my puppy Fabio's Instagram page as well. I know some people don't like um, puppy Instagrams, but I actually just, I love it as a place to just post everything about only my dog and just kind of like document everything. And it's kind of crazy because when I first got him, Fabio was eight pounds. And right now um, I took him to the vet yesterday and he is weighing 16 pounds. So I just can't believe um, how healthy he's gotten and how big he's gotten. And after I share the story with you guys, um, I know that you'll kind of be like surprised and shocked at how big he's grown as well. And maybe you'll follow his journey on Instagram as well. So make sure that you like this video, uh, leave any type of video suggestions down below. I know I've been MIA and I also want to let you guys know that a giveaway is coming up soon. So make sure that you're subscribed and um, liking and commenting on my videos as well so that you know um, when the giveaway happens. So without further ado, let's get started on the video. To make this story a little bit shorter, I want to say that on January 30th, I actually went and went and picked up the French Bulldog that I saw and it was kind of unexpected. I didn't know if he was going to be there. Um, he did come from a breeder and I know like the whole entire adopt and don't shop, but you know, I did go and buy him. Um, and now I realize like why. So the breeder that we got him from, we went and we picked him up, um, my boyfriend and I. The breeder that we got him from didn't really seem that sketchy at the time, but he turned out to just have a lot of secrets in my opinion. And he gave us the puppy and I don't know, like maybe just being a first time puppy parent, I didn't really think much of it. I brought him home to my parents' house just to like see him since the breeder was kind of like in that same area before driving back up to the city. and. The first thing my mom said was like the puppy sick and I kind of like didn't believe her and now when I look at like videos and pictures of when we bought him like that day I'm like wow like I was just so naive um he had pink eye just like certain things he looked so weak and tired and I remember asking the breeder I was like oh like does he have like a voice does he like bark and the breeder just said he sleeps all the time so the second day he starts bleeding um, after his stools and that's like when the disaster started. Multiple vet visits back to back, leaving work early just to go to like the vet, multiple rounds of like antibiotics, he had parasites, but then once the parasites resolved, the parasites weren't an issue anymore and they couldn't figure out like what was causing the bleeding and certain types of issues. I was contacting the breeder, not in terms of like finances, but I was contacting him in terms of like help. Like, can you be honest with me? What exactly did this puppy have? What's going on? The 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 vets were stunned. You know, I, I changed vets because like the first vet wasn't really too responsive. So I went to a different vet that was like an hour away um, who I'm currently with now. And she's like so helpful. So eventually like the puppy started making a lot more progress and uh, we did like bland diets. We did probiotics, uh, different types of like medicine. 
uh, blood testing, just like everything that like you can do, he got. And like the vet and everyone um, felt bad for us because we got the puppy and we thought the puppy was healthy for like the amount that we paid and everything, but it turns out that he just wasn't. And the, the breeder would kind of like push the fault back at me and make me feel like it was my fault that the puppy was like that or maybe it was something that I caused or he just had no idea what was the cause of it. And when I would tell the vet, the vet would tell me that it wasn't my fault. So I'm not even pinpointing anything Obviously, we bought the puppy, so we're taking full responsibility, and thankfully now, um, it seems like those days are behind us. Um, you know, there hasn't really been any more blood. Um, his stomach is not as in, like as in, um, inflamed and as swollen as it was. He's doing a lot better. He's definitely being a puppy and getting back that time lost in terms of being playful, barking, um, being naughty, just like certain things that he does now. And I'm like, wow. And when you look at pictures of him now versus pictures of him in the past, it's such a big difference. And we actually went to the vet yesterday for like a checkup and the vet said that he's doing amazing. So it kind of is great to see that um, we were able to nurse him back to health and that we're making progress. And I hope that those dark days are really like in the past um, behind us. So like, it's just like a lot to share. And I hope that there's like no negative comments or anything about like the puppy uh, down below. You know, everyone at the end of the day, like these puppies are still being born and um, you just kind of can't help like which one you get and I'm just thankful that Fabio was able to get brought into a home where we were able to give him the care that he needed and give him the time as well with being work from home we were able to take care of him and stay home with him um just everything it's it's been like a journey so you know we, we weren't able to like take him outside or anything and like he's finally able to go out now and stuff so it's it's been a lot and i think like other people might have not been able to to do that or fit that in with their schedules but thankfully like we were able to do that and we were also able to cover like the really expensive like vet bills so i did get um pet insurance i have pumpkin and just because um, I didn't really know that I was going to get a dog, I actually got the pet insurance the first day. So I applied for it January 30th, the first day um, that I got the puppy. But they have like a like two week waiting window. So anything during that period is pre-existing. So I mean, if I knew I would have got, it was gonna get the puppy, I would have gotten the insurance like a month before. So unfortunately, like all of his stomach issues, which were which went way past the parasites weren't covered by the pet insurance so i was paying that like out of pocket like the antibiotics the blood test the just like everything i was it was just being paid um out of pocket because the pet insurance was wasn't taking it it was taking it as like uh pre-existing so um i mean that's the case with it you know can't complain like i said um once you you get like an, an animal or anything it kind of becomes your responsibility and Thankfully, you know, there were funds and stuff that were saved up for the puppy um, and, you know, we just wanted the puppy to be okay and everything. So thankfully, um, things are a lot better now and we just hope that they stay a lot better. It's been kind of crazy and that kind of explains why I've been MIA. I think with like working and then taking care of the puppy, I haven't really had time to even like breathe. <laughs> so um, I'm just happy that things are like getting better and that I can come back to making videos as well. So now I'm going to show you guys some of my and Fabio's favorite items. So to start off with Fabio's favorite items, the first thing I'm going to do is food. So currently he's on a bland diet um, via recommendations of his doctor and in a couple of weeks we'll be transitioning him into a different um, like dry food. So he's tried a bunch of foods um, and currently like bland is what's working for him um, on the current medication that he's on. But one of the foods I want to talk about that I really liked was the Farmina puppy. So Farmina had like really clean ingredients. The breeder had him on uh, the Purina lamb puppy and that was pretty good as well. I think, um, I know a lot of people don't like Purina, but I've also like seen a lot of uh, Frenchies that are on Purina and a lot of other dogs that are on it as well. Um, but I don't think, I don't think my puppy really liked it and he really did like Farmina. He's just currently on that bland diet right now like I mentioned, but I think we would eventually go back to uh, Fermina 
or you know just whatever the vet says but that is a good option to look into if you're looking into um, dog food so the next thing is um, baby wipes so I use these on my puppy so I have them backwards now so I use the Huggies um, sensitive and this is just for wiping his paws it's just for um, wiping his little butt after he uses the bathroom so i normally started doing it because um of like the blood that would come out tm uh, tmi <laughs> but i just do it now i'm just kind of like accustomed to doing it, it kind of like keeps him clean and um i just like got in the habit of it but i also use this for his paws as well so it's just like the huggies is sensitive as well so the next two things i got on amazon so one thing i'm going to show you and the next thing i'm going to link it down below just because it's too big so the first thing i got on amazon is this portable water bottle and like i mentioned i'll link it down below and i really love it because we carry it with us in the car and once we start going out with uh, fabio a little bit more we will be able to carry this as well if you hear um a dog <laughs> the dog toy sound it's my dog in the background so um this is really cool you just press the button so you fill it up with water and then you just press the button and it kind of um fills up here and then you're able to give your dog water so the hole lets the water flow through and then whatever he doesn't drink you don't have to throw out you just press the button back and the water goes back into um into here as well so this is also really good because sometimes we also have this at night just in case um you know because he sleeps in our room at night so we just like to have this just in case he gets like thirsty or anything at next thing that i mentioned that i'm going to link down below is a dog ramp so i was in the search of something because he does sleep on the bed um he kind of hates being alone and he has like separation anxiety but um he likes to sleep on the bed and he did jump off one time which really scared me so i looked at dog stairs but for frenchies i heard that it's really bad for their back so i ordered a dog ramp on amazon it was 150 after tax so it is a little bit expensive but it's made of wood so it is more sturdy than getting like a foam or any other type of material the only issue that i'm having is it's like really really big so it takes up a lot of space and he's also not really using it yet so i'm kind of thinking of just taking it apart and building it again once he's a little bit bigger and he can use it um just because I know it's something that he is going to end up using. It's not like he's not going to use the ramp. And I also don't really like want him jumping around a lot because of um, like just different Frenchy stuff that I've read. Again, I don't know if I'm like overreacting or it's like a first time like parent thing, um, but I just went ahead and bought the ramp. Uh, just better safe than sorry. So the next couple of things, um, the first thing is Aquaphor. So the Aquaphor is over there. I'm not going to get it, but everyone knows what Aquaphor is. So Aquaphor, um, I use, and it was actually recommended to me in a Frenchie group. So whenever he has any type of like dry skin, like whether it's on his scalp, um, I actually take a little bit of Aquaphor and I'll put it on there. It works really, really good. And also with his dry nose, I put a little bit of Aquaphor on his dry nose as well. It's worked really good. There is a brand that I've been meaning to, uh, to try. It has like the Frenchie on it. I think it's like, I don't even know what it's called. Um, but they make like a, a little nose balm and also one for the paws. So that is something that I want to try. Um, and I'll probably order it. Um, but right now I've been using Aquaphor on his nose or when he had like a dry skin issue. I used Aquaphor as well and it cleared it up. So that's something that worked for me. And then the next things that I'm going to show you guys are just some like fun little cute things that I ordered from um, some Frenchie stores. So the first thing that I got him, of course, is the collar. And I got this at PetSmart. Like I said, I didn't really grow up with any dogs, so I didn't know you could do this. But at PetSmart, they have a little collar tag um, station where you could like pick the um, collar ID that you want and then you can put it in this little machine and it comes out and then on the back you can put the name like your name and then like your address and phone number in case he gets lost so anyway i bought um this little collar by top paw i really like it um and i'm eventually i think i'm gonna get a new one in red but anyway so here is the little collar and it says his name his little id tag and i did the black bone with the white uh lettering so it lets you customize it and i really like it i think it looks really nice and fancy on him and the collar I think is like pretty good collar, um, pretty good quality. It's like top paw, it wasn't like super expensive or anything. There's definitely like more expensive options. I did really like some leather collars, but I just like don't know how that's going to make him feel, especially like once it gets warmer out. So I think this collar is pretty good on him. The next thing that I got from PetSmart is this little red shirt. 
So this is actually really cool looking on him and it also feels really cool. He's worn this and he hasn't really complained. He loves wearing clothes. He hates wearing collars and harnesses, but he loves wearing clothes. So I got him this little red shirt and it's kind of like a sleeve like muscle tank. It looks really cute on him. Like I said, I'm going to link his Instagram down below and uh, it, there's like pictures of him wearing this little red shirt. So I do want to go and get him this in a different color. It is really comfy and soft and I ended up washing it um, and I just let it air dry and it washed really good. There's no like pile, uh, pilling or anything on it. It looks really good and it's very uh, machine washable safe as well. So these are um, these little ears which I'll link and they come in a variety of colors and sizes. They have really amazing stuff and this is so cute so it goes on him they also have this in a hoodie version but basically uh, you just put this on him and then this kind of like covers him from the cold he looks so cute in it and we did take him out carrying him this one time that it was really cold outside and he loved it he didn't like try to like take it off or anything and the material is just so warm and cozy and frenchies do get cold i feel like they are a little bit sensitive well at least our dog is so he actually loved having this and just being all warm and cuddly on it and like I said, I'll link it down below. I love the color gray, the material, and it came super fast. The shipping was super fast as well. So I'm excited because we'll definitely get use out of it. And then once he um, grows, we'll definitely get it in another size and try out some different colors as well. But I completely love the store and just their products really good quality so the last thing i'm going to show you guys is this harness so it says frenchie on it um the store is like french bulldog um i'll link it down below both stores have like frenchie in their name so i just like i always like get confused um but this store is amazing they have like the um harness and it's like dual sided so it has like different colors um and they have like amazing prints on their website they have like the cutest little prints like with food and stuff and i know that you guys have heard about this brand because if you're like a dog owner just because it's like everywhere i've also seen it at like pet smart and they have like really really great products so we got him the harness and um again like we didn't really get too much use out of it just because of his medical issues we weren't able to take him out so he actually now that he's doing healthy he's growing so he actually outgrew this harness <laughs> unfortunately this is a size small so he outgrew it so i ordered him the exact same one in a size medium and I actually made, I was going to wait to make this video until like this package got here, but I had some free time today and I was excited to film. So I'm just going to let you guys know what I got in the order. And if you guys follow Fabio's Instagram, I'll share it once it gets here. So I got him this harness in a medium. I got him the matching leash. So I have a leash from PetSmart already, but I kind of like, like the matching leash. So I got the matching leash and I also got um, a cooling bandana for him which they sell um, on this website and I think it's really cool. So apparently it's kind of like a bandana. They have like all these cute little prints and then you just get it wet and then you can lay it on his back or lay it on his stomach and the Frenchie or your puppy is able to cool down. So they were on sale, it was a good price and it had really good reviews. So I ordered, um, when he did wear this harness, just like in the house, he really liked it. The material is really good. It's like really good quality. Shipping was really fast. Um, all their prints are so cute. There's like so many different prints that I want to get him. They have like a little teddy bear print, which I think is so cute, but I went with this one and it kind of like makes me sad um, that he's not a size small anymore, that he's a medium, but I think it's really exciting too because it shows um, that he was able to get healthy and grow and um, that we're just like past like that darkness and it just makes me like so emotional to think about like what he went through so the fact that he's doing better and that you know he's at 16 pounds and he's going to be wearing a size medium kind of like makes me like nostalgic about this harness i think i'll keep this like in this little puppy box or something so i'm going to show you guys my puppy and then that is the end of this video thank you guys for watching if you have any new puppy parent suggestions make sure that you leave it down below um any type of like puppy advice of course is helpful and if you guys have a frenchie also you know let me know down below i love hearing about frenchies i love hearing about puppies or just any tips at all so thank you guys for watching and i'll show you my puppy fabio as promised here he is my puppy fabio
and he's a little sleepy because I woke him up mid-nap and the ring light is just like flashing on both of our faces but here he is just the cutest little thing and as you can tell he's so big now and he's just like growing every single day Um, but like I said, I'm just like so happy to be his mom. I'm so happy that he's doing so much better and that we're seeing progress and that I was able to share some of our favorite um, items to in today's video and give you a little bit of his background and like what we've been going through in the past couple of weeks. So if you guys want to see more Fabio content, make sure that you like his um, Instagram page and like follow it. Um, let me know down below or any type of like comments that you may have, any video suggestions for the future. And I'll see you guys for our next video. Bye!